International shipping takes care of the movement of goods and products between nations. It has the lowest carbon footprint per ton for long-range transport, but still creates around 3% of global CO2 emissions. The maritime sector has pledged to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Ship-based carbon capture, or SBCC, is one of several low-carbon technologies being explored, which could provide a low-cost and readily deployable solution compared to zero-emission fuels, such as ammonia and hydrogen. The Everlong CCUS project aims to encourage the uptake of SBCC by demonstrating its use on board liquefied natural gas, or LNG, fueled ships and moving it closer to market readiness. An SVCC prototype developed in the Netherlands by Carbotreat was installed on board the Seapeak Arwa, an LNG-powered carrier chartered by Total Energies in September 2023. This major milestone marked the first deployment anywhere of a full-chain onboard system comprising capture, liquefaction and storage facilities. The first testing campaign will run for 1,000 hours, during which the unit is expected to capture up to 250 kilograms of CO2 per day. The focus of this campaign will be the performance of the capture system. As well as assessing the impact of SBCC on the ship's infrastructure and emissions, Everlong CCUS researchers are studying the effects of motion on CO2 capture rates and of exhaust gas impurities on capture solvent performance. With a dedicated operator on board to oversee operation of the system, the prototype and vessel designs also enable remote performance monitoring and supervision from shore. This enables a safer and more efficient learning campaign that is providing real-time data that will be shared publicly. Initial results are very promising, showing the capture rates of up to 85% are achievable. Following the CPEAK Arwa trial, the SBCC unit will be removed and installed on board the SSCV Sleipnir from Hirama Marine Contractors, where a second campaign of around 500 hours will take place. The second campaign will see full CCUS chain in operation. The captured CO2 will be stored on board as a liquid in a container. The container will then be offloaded and the CO2 transported to an industrial site for utilization or stored permanently in the geological subsurface. <music>